everybody. Now I've got something I want to talk about. Every time I do a Q&A video, it would seem as if people haven't seen the fact that I show my face. Because I get comments like, oh my god, I never thought you'd look like that. Now, firstly, that comment does always make me laugh, because how often have you, you know, only ever talked to someone and then, like, met them and been like, oh, you look exactly like I thought you would. Has it never happened to me? I've always been completely wrong. You know, it's like you listen to a radio presenter for years and years, and then suddenly you see them and you're like, what the fuck? Is that what I've been listening to this whole time? Of course, part of the reason is the fact that I only do a Q&A every couple of months, um, or a video that, you know, I actually show my face in, and in that time, I may gain two, two and a bit thousand subscribers. So, you know, there's a lot of people there that haven't seen any of my older videos. Because for some reason, people don't seem to go back through older videos of people. They only want to know what's right up to date. I mean, I know a lot of you do, but you don't comment. I've noticed that, like, comments are always on the first video. When I put a video up, I get comments within two seconds, nearly. And then it sort of goes on and on. And then there's obvious peaks of times a day when people are coming out of work, coming out of school you know, different countries waking up. Now, a lot of vloggers don't show their faces. Lots do, but lots don't. And, you know, when I do show my face, people say, oh, you've broken the number one rule of the motor vlogging code. You know, this book is this, Jake's referred to about the unwritten rules, the unwritten book of rules that motor vloggers must follow. Rule number one being, never show your face. <laughs> Where did it come from? I mean, I can understand why you might do it. You might want to keep your privacy you know, because you can't be recognised walking down the street with that helmet on, but as it's been proven, I don't need to show my face to be recognised. I'm on an orange bike. I'm a tall guy. I've got a recognisable helmet. It's easy for people to spot me without seeing my face. In fact, I think I've probably got more chance of not being noticed by my face because, you know, I don't show it so often. Naturally, because it's a motor vlog and you don't tend to show your face. So obviously there's no great disadvantage to not showing your face. But I feel like people will connect with you better on a more of a human, person-to-person -person level if they can actually see your face and see what you look like. And you know, and people often use that excuse of, oh, I don't want to show my face, you know, you know, it's ugly, it's horrible, you don't want to see it. And... What are you fucking doing? So yeah, I choose to show my face. I choose not to share my name to keep myself some privacy, you know, because you have to remember this is the thing. There are some nutty motherfuckers out there. I know of people that like say, what's your real name? It's like, well, what does it matter, really? It makes no great difference. I could say my name was Bernard, it's not. And you might, you just believe that. It doesn't matter, it's not an important thing. I go to the point of showing my face, I share my life with you. I will keep some things to myself because that's only right. Oh, right. Where was I? Sorry, I'm running errands at the same time as doing this vlog. Um, yeah, it, it's a basically it's an option if you want to show your face or not when you vlog. It's something you need to consider maybe when you start vlogging. Lots of people are. You know, are you going to show your face? Are you going to share your name? Because a lot of people, well not a lot, but some, have... Now, who the fuck does he look like? Who's that fucking dude? Oh, what's his name? Pitbull! That knob end in a suit. What the fuck does he think he looks like? It's like that guy. Look at me with my cool shades on and my suit in my car. Can't drive for fucking shit and I don't look where I'm going, but you know, I'm cool. If you're going to start out vlogging, you do need to consider with like the things that you are and aren't going to show. Remember that you could become the next biggest motor vlogger out there. For all you know, you could be the best vlogger. Do your videos, million subs in a week. That would be fucking unlikely, but still, my point still stands. So if you're going to become a vlogger, maybe if you've got your channel in your own personal name, maybe think about not having it in your own personal name, start, name, start another one up before you start, because you can't change these things later down the line. I can understand why you might not want to show your face, you know, just for general, you know, peace of mind that no one's going to recognise you walking down the street, you don't have to worry about, you know, people knowing who you are, because I do get that, and it, it, I thought, um, you know, most people would say you're fucking paranoid when you're walking down the street or driving down the road and you will think people are looking at you. And I happen to know, I'm going to be nice to this guy, go on, that it's true. People do notice me, look for me. I mean, the other day I bumped into a couple of guys 
Um, it was the beginning of a video which actually didn't end up being a video. Let's just show. Here they are. <laughs> Hello. I take it you recognise me then? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Are you not waiting for me by chance? Uh, maybe. Is this the new game everyone's playing? <laughs> I was I was wondering if I bump into anyone and I came up this way and I was just saw him do a U-turn and was just like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, these two guys had gone to a place that you know I regularly frequent, um, but they'd gone on a weekend day, and I'm never off of weekends. It's only where I've been off sick that I've actually been out on a weekend. Same as when I met all those people a few weekends back. I work every single weekend. I haven't had a weekend off other than for holiday or sick in years and years because I work in a kitchen. So what happens is every time it's a bank holiday weekend, basically any time that people will generally be off, I will be working. It's just the way it is. You know, bank holiday, I am going to be working it. I don't need to question it. It does seem really strange though, because if you go back a little while, if you had like the top most subscribed motor vloggers in the UK, I was, I was getting up there. I'm, I don't know what position I would be in now. I haven't really thought about it. There's so many more people and people accelerating away, but... I don't notice these people getting spotted all of the time, like literally on almost a daily basis. Someone will go past me and go, Hello oh, Spicy! And this is because I'm known to a lot of people and evidently there's a lot of people around here that watch my videos, I guess. Still state, not famous, just well known. And it'd also be interesting to know from the other vloggers, including some of the more well known ones, of, uh, how often do you actually get spotted? Do you know you've been spotted? Because there's plenty of times I see someone stare at me and I'm like, I'm pretty sure someone just spotted me, but I'm not entirely sure. That'd be interesting to know. And people ask me how I handle that situation, how I feel about meeting people. I don't mind at all. It's completely down to the person as you meet them. If they're like calm, relaxed and just talk to you like a normal person it's good to have a little chat with someone I've had a few people be a little bit starstruck with me and that, that's a little bit weird because it's like look I'm just a normal dude okay so just treat me that way don't worry if you ever do meet me don't worry about it I'm I'm the most easygoing chilled out guy you're gonna meet it's strange but basically I've got used to it and it's been like yeah, you know it's quite cool to meet a subscriber every now and then and they're nearly always bikers so that's always cool anyway I've talked about an awful lot of stuff I'm gonna go home I'll catch you guys next time. And oh, I wonder if we've hit 25,000 subs at this point. And at this point right now, I'm slightly shy of 25,000 subs. By the time you see this, because this is two videos ahead, I think. Depends how I work things. I'm probably going to surpass 25,000 subs. So I'm going to go with it. Big balls it. Thanks everyone for 25,000 subs. That's fucking amazing. Obviously, I don't know exactly how I feel about it yet, because it hasn't happened. But I can imagine I'm going to be very, very pleased to know that I'm a quarter of the way to uh, 100,000 subs <laughs> and now you start to realise how ahead Jake got you bastard <laughs> we had the same amount of subs at one point <laughs> he's winning this game but I win with the animals oh yes and the looks I suggested he didn't show his face but he still did it brave guy I'm choking <laughs> And natural cars are fun because you know it's a proper little combustion engine and you don't need to charge the batteries, you can just pick it up and put some fuel in it and all of that. But the problem is they get fucking hot. Uh, I know this because I burnt the shit out of my thumb once on my old um, 